Mr. Arvind Raju, hearty uh, congratulations on securing All India rank of 15 in civil engineering branch in ESC 2021. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Arvind, can you tell us uh, what type of coaching program that you have availed from our ES Academy? Uh, that was Gate plus ESC combined, sir. Gate plus ESC combined, uh, hmm. classroom coaching, right? Oh, yes, sir. Classroom coaching. Uh, Arvind, uh, can you tell something about yourself? You are a, you are a native place, a B.Tech college. When did you pass out? Uh, actually, I am from Bhimavaram, Andhra Pradesh, sir, from West Godavari district. Okay. I have done my bachelor's degree in civil engineering from IIT Kanpur. Passed out in 2018. Twenty to the twenty you pass you are passed out. Two thousand eight twen, uh, 2018, 2018. 18 you passed out, right? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. So After then, what the, have you doing, Arvind? Uh, I have immediately joined the uh, full time coaching Gate Plus ESC classroom program in AS Academy, sir. Uh, during the same year, uh, there is the notification for the state services uh, AWE. Okay. So I have written that exam and I am currently enrolled in RNB department. And this is my third attempt in ESC. Uh, this time I have secured an all-in rank of 15, sir. Good. And Good. I have secured a rank, uh, top 100 in gate twice, sir. Last year it was nine, uh, 2019, it was 91, and 2020, it was 41. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Arvind, you said that uh, you, you, you are the student of AS Academy in the gate plus ESC classroom coaching. Ah, yes, sir. Which center? From which center? Hyderabad, sir. Abits. Hyderabad Abits Center. Mm -hmm. Uh, good, uh, Arvind. Uh, see this uh, ESC examination. It has got uh, two stages: the prelims and then uh, mains. Ah, yes, when it comes to the prelims examination, there you have two papers. One is the GS, other one is the technical paper. Ah, yes, sir. So what was your strategy as far as this uh, GS paper is concerned? Because there are ten uh, different topics are there. Uh, actually, uh, the, uh, the, mo the most contribution. Towards my rank this year might be the GS paper, sir. As I counted from the coaching, I have got a score of around 117 and 120 in GS paper. Actually, the paper is very uncertain. You cannot uh, uh, define the boundary of the syllabus. So, but you can analyze it this way. Uh, there will be around 20 to 25 questions from maths and aptitude. And from rest of the 80 to 75 questions, uh, you will get half of the question, at least half of the questions from direct the coaching, which you have been studying and 40 questions can be asked from anywhere. Okay. Uh, you can divide it in three ways uh, in that maths and aptitude. Uh, we can, uh, we can easily score around 50, uh, out of the 20 questions. We can score around more than 15 plus, sir. If you have practiced the test series and all from the coaching as well, uh, that will be very easy. Uh, in the year 2021, uh, we have got around 25 questions from maths and aptitude alone. And I have attempted 23 questions out of which I have scored all the 23 questions uh, that gave me the edge in the GS paper itself. Good, uh, Arvind. Good. Uh, uh, this uh, GS again, we have some topics like uh, current affairs mm. uh, and then uh, ICT yes, sir. and then this uh, ethics and all. Mm. Uh, did you cover these topics also? Uh, ICT and ethics I have covered from the class, uh, not ethics, sir. ICT I have covered from the AS class notes itself. Uh, in the current affairs, uh, it also from the current, uh, the ma'am from the AS Academy, uh, she had given you very good notes that will cover your basic foundation for the current affairs. Uh, but in recent times, they have been asking directly from the general issues going in the country. In the past times, they used to ask from the uh, simple static matters such as economy of the country and all. Uh, so it's better to read the daily current affairs or something and the ACE monthly current affair magazine that will be very helpful for this. Uh, ethics, uh, I haven't studied much, sir, uh, but uh, I've gained the somewhat uh, the surface knowledge from the test series questions itself. Okay, Arvind, uh, when it mm. comes to the mains examination preparation, sir, uh, uh, you have lengthy conventional questions there that we have to answer in the QCM format. Oh, yes, sir. And where again you require the selection of questions, some technique, and then the time management, all. Oh, so, yes, how you used to do this preparation for mains? Uh, in the mains examination, this time uh, there is a change in the pattern, sir, for the paper one itself. Uh, usually, we can see that uh, in the past every year, they used to give uh, building materials, strength of materials, and structural analysis in the first four questions, and rest RCC, steel, and CPM from the next four questions. 
this time they have given a mix up of all the questions uh generally uh, the most uh, the common mistake all the students do is this uh, they try to attempt from the first question itself uh, uh as you have mentioned that uh, time is very constrained that should be kept in mind sir uh, you should given at least 50 to 20 minutes for analyzing the paper you should choose the question uh, which were easy and which you could attempt there will be questions uh, there are many questions that you are able to attempt from the coaching knowledge itself but you have to prioritize the question according to your time which question you can attempt uh, fast which question it will take length so you should identify the question and you start with the question with the which consumes the time less onwards so you need to start by sorting in the order uh, by that uh, uh, you will get the confidence by solving one, uh, questions one by one easily so that will help you give an edge of extra 20 to 30 marks itself yes, that is a hmm. good uh... Point, uh, Arvind, you have raised this point. Yeah, that will and, come uh, from the test series, sir. Yes, that yes. is the main thing. Yes, yes. One can develop some ideas, some strategy on this uh, particular uh, in these lines if we have got more exposure on the test series. Ah, yes, sir. If you take test series rigorously, then you will come to know what to do in the actual main exam. Yes, sir. Uh, right. And in mains examination, I think first paper give me an edge above the rest of all, sir. Second paper, it have went average for me, but the first paper it was relatively good attempt for me compared to the others. i have talked during the exam center so most of the people try to attempt the first part in which they are given rcc questions and lengthy lengthy but i have uh, go, gone through the paper thoroughly itself there are some very easy question from the water tank that was the basic question uh, that was taught by the somu sir itself uh, during my first term in the coaching that is a very basic question they are given it for the 20 marks and the aqua question that was also simple one and you can get 20 out of 20 since it is not a design question you can just you have to just calculate the load sir these questions were given in the last part of the paper so if the student try to attempt from the first to last uh, they will miss the opportunity of the scoring these easy questions right good good point mm -hmm. arvind uh, arvind uh, when you are preparing for this uh, examination uh, sir uh, daily uh, did you study only one subject otherwise more than one subject Uh, actually i don't have particular schedule sir i used to study according to the syllabus of the test series so whatever the syllabus in the test series in the weekend whatever the coaching test series i have been attempting uh, i used to prepare uh, according to that certain syllabus of the test series sometimes it might be multiple subjects uh, one one chapter from the multiple subjects sometimes it has to be the entire subject uh, that's all okay so did you cover the entire syllabus of civil engineering thoroughly uh um not surely thoroughly sir around 80 to 90% uh since they have been asking from the railways and water tank and earthquake and all and i almost covered that all well so uh, during uh, they have taken out the railway uh, railway seats and they have limited the number of seats so it has given it has compulsory situation for the aspirant to cover the entire civil engineering syllabus in the past uh, we can skip some subjects and still we can get selected this time due to the high cut off and as well you have to cover the entire subject it if possible what do you do with respect to some subjects like geology and docks and harbors etc uh geology um there ace ace academy has provided a certain booklet for the geology sir i have covered the basics through that and docks and harbor uh, i have covered from some coaching notes uh, available in the online and my friend short notes as well which you can uh, if you sit around 2 to 3 days regarding the dock and harbor you can prepare a uh, simple notes of around 3 to 4 pages But and that will serve you well throughout your preparation better to go selectively in those type of uh, areas right ah uh, yes sir and you have to collect the questions from the test series uh, regarding those chapters and you can make a notes out of it okay arvind mm -hmm. and in your preparation you might have definitely used that the previous year's questions ah uh, yes sir definitely sir so did you use only the previous year's questions of engineering services and in addition to that did you use uh, civil service questions also uh, for mains i have used the both the uh, civil services as well as the engineering services exam sir so uh, there are were they helpful to you ah uh, yes sir very much sir uh, when you see the fluid mechanics there were simple questions asked in the uh, simple fluid mechanics part in the engineering services but when you come across the civil services main examination the fluid mechanics were very conceptual questions uh that will give you the extra exposure and sometimes uh, these days we can see that uh, you are getting a direct question from the previous civil services examination in our current papers uh, 
it is not like that you have to cover entire question just you have to glance through the questions and there are some beautiful questions in the civil services examination in the mains paper so you can identify them and you can learn them okay one more thing arvind uh, uh -huh. did you study uh, this yes academy classroom running notices only otherwise did you refer to any textbook also uh, i mainly covered the classroom notes first sir after that i have made a short notes uh, you can cover the syllabus in uh, three parts sir for me the uh, first one is the class notes and second thing is the previous questions not every, uh, nobody can cover the entire syllabus uh, you have to take whatever uh, whatever the extra from the uh, previous year questions so in such a way that uh, you can come across a question which has four answers uh, in which four answers have a, uh, four options have a different different meanings for respective terms so rather than just uh, going through the particular answer you have to learn that what are the other three terms and what are what they signify in the other what situation they justify the answer so you have to make a short notes from class notes as well as uh, the previous year questions asked and for some topics i have covered the standard textbooks sir okay standard textbook were very less mostly my 80 to 90% of the uh, knowledge is from the class notes and the previous year questions itself sir and good. test series good darwin good darwin uh, see uh, what about your uh, interview experience uh, arvind uh, interview experience i have to uh, i came across three mock interviews sir uh, they will help you to overcome your fear in the interview panel itself but uh, but this time they have been i think there is an some odd interview session gone this year for me uh, whatever the mock interview i have experienced and there has been some things about my, uh, about ourselves and all but in upsc they have mainly focused on the technical knowledge and if you have some job uh, they ask it simply the job and they haven't asked anything about your personal hobbies and all yes, yes. Hmm. okay that is one of the thing Mm. Like, do you remember any one or two interesting questions that you were asked? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, since I have been uh, working in the R and V, I have been given in charge uh, look after a scheme called RCP LWE. So there has been questions regarding that. They asked just uh, what is the uh, full form of that and what are the uh, width of the roads you lay in the particular scheme and what are the environmental impacts regarding uh, the laying of the rcp lw roads the uh, that was some out of the box part sir okay totally how many questions you answered satisfactorily in the interview uh, interview uh, from from my experience uh, i haven't thought that uh, it has gone well sir uh, but i can say that whatever i have answered i answered confidently uh, and whatever i don't know or i know partially i just said that uh, i said uh, honestly that i don't know regarding that and i skipped that question okay no even they even though you couldn't answer the questions in the interview mm. but the way how you replied it also matters right ah yes sir that might have fetched you some good marks also who knows right Let uh, us uh, to... i think that should play an important part sir otherwise i couldn't have got the 15th rank yes yes, yes. Right. Mm. Okay. finally arvin with mm. your successful experience and uh, having got this all india 15th rank uh, in mm. the esc 2021 uh, can you please share some useful tips or some strategies etc with the aspirants of engineering studies examination in general uh, yeah, and the degree students in particular yes, sir definitely sir uh, we can analyze this into three parts one is uh, two parts are generally it is prelims and mains for prelims a uh, gs paper i have said uh, you have to take the maths and aptitude part seriously you don't have to prepare the aptitude uh, entire week and all just whenever you start the uh, revising the notes or whatever the topic you have uh, teased in the class just start your session with three, solving three to four aptitude questions by that day so that will cover your entire part of the aptitude and mathematics you have to treat it like an technical subjects most of the people ignore mathematics because it doesn't uh, truly represent civil engineering but uh, it weightage is as equal to one or one civil engineering subject sir we can expect some 12 to 15 questions in prelim, prelims itself uh, that is a huge weightage from one subject you are getting 12 to 15 questions uh, but it just contains five chapters so you don't have to you uh, you shouldn't neglect that you have to treat it like an engineering subject uh, those are the things you can score uh, out of out, with certain answers so that is the main point sir and whatever you study in the coaching 
uh, you will get 50% of the rest gs questions from that if you go through the coaching notes and test series as well you can uh, score a, a good amount such as 90 plus and 100 plus for gs paper uh, for our technical paper uh, we have to uh, attain some empirical formula set that will get you from the practice suppose in the transportation and all uh, for stopping side distance and all, you have to uh, remember those terms uh, by converting velocity into kilometer per hour. So that Vt plus half Vt square, uh, if I recall that, you just convert to 0 0.28 Vt plus 0 0.0034 uh, V square by Nf and all. You just uh, replace those G terms and all and write the formula itself. So you can able to solve the questions within one to two minutes. And one more thing for the uh, prelims uh, technical paper, sir. First, uh, you should, uh, I prefer to go through the theoretical questions. If we analyze the paper, there will be, uh, from the past two, three years, there are around 90 questions theoretical and 60 questions numerical. Uh, those 90 theoretical questions you can attempt in uh, one and a half hour, out of which you can attempt easily 70 questions, sir. Uh, in regarding in 60 questions, if you go patiently and uniformly, you can attend 30 to 40 questions uh, with best accuracy. If we go by simply from first to last, uh, you will experience some lengthy calculation questions in the middle part, something. So you will waste time and that will fetch you some nervousness in the exam. And you can attempt the questions which you have solved easily. So that will help most sir, by solving theoretical first and numerical later. It's a good session, Arvind, good session. Mm -hmm. So what about your uh, uh, sessions regarding the mains uh, preparation? Uh, mains preparation, as I said before, sir, you have to analyze the paper first, sir. It will, for freshers, it will take around half an hour to read every questions and to recall it in the mind. Uh, that will be practiced in test series only. Uh, you should give your first whatever time uh, you require to analyze the paper first and uh, I use it to give the level of the questions at the side, sir. This question is easy, this question is medium, this question is hard. So after I have given rating to the every question parts, I use it to solve the first easy questions and then go to the medium questions and then go to the hard questions. Though I could solve a few two, uh, one to two questions less, but I have, could have uh, solved it with a better accuracy. So it will fetch you marks. As you go on through the preparation period and test series as well, you will improve that as well. You can solve right. the entire paper. Yes, yes. Very good. Uh, good points, uh, Arvind. Right. Uh, Arvind, uh, what are your parents? Uh, my father uh, owns some land, sir, agricultural land. Okay. My Arvind. mother is a housewife. Housewife, right. Hmm. Very good, Arvind. Your parents must be very proud of you. Hmm, yes, sir. Right. So, convey our best wishes to them. Okay, definitely, sir. So, and also to the others, so your friends, etc., who are part of your success. Yes, sir. And the faculty also helped me very much, sir. I have recently called Somu, sir, also regarding how to prepare for the interview. Uh, during my first time, I couldn't crack the prelims and I have talked to him and he have uh, given me some motivation. Dot. Don't be depressed. You can still crack it. Uh, so I am thankful for him also. Okay. Good. Uh, good, Arvind. Right. I once again, uh, thank you for sparing time and discussing with us these uh, points. And uh, I once again congratulate you. And wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Okay, thank you very much, sir.